In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this professional certificate design in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added this uh, combination of the blue gradients here, and then you can add the title of your certificate. I've put certificate of appreciation presented to, you can enter your name and add sub subheading here and then some detailed text. And here you can see here I've added this red kind of a batch here with the golden uh, uh, curve here and then you can add the date and the signature. Likewise, I have created one more uh, with some different colors as well as you can see here I have used some background light lines also. So one more certificate with some different color combination I have used so depending on your requirement you can change the color as per your need. And if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the slide size to a4 for that go to design slide size click on custom slide size and from the drop down list select a4 and click ok and then go to insert shapes i'm going to select a rectangle draw the rectangle covering the whole slide you can see here something like this shape outline make it no outline and then i'm going to add one more rectangle select the rectangle draw the rectangle at the bottom you can see here shape outline no outline and shape fill i'm going to use this color which is the the dark gray here and then i'm going to edit this by right mouse click click on edit points and you can just drag this up something like this all right and then i'm going to reduce you can see here this one drag this down so that it gives you a kind of curve shape something like this again if you want to further increase the size you can increase also and let it be like this for the meantime again if you want to adjust you can adjust accordingly so once this is done i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and i'll keep it aside and this blue one i'm going to remove this one from the bottom if you want you can remove it or if you don't want uh, you can uh, you can keep it as it is also but uh, it's better to remove it so i'm going to select the blue, uh, blue rectangle hold the shift key select this one the gray one go to more shape and i'm going to subtract it so you end up getting a shape something like this you can see here and then i'm going to bring this down the same place all right and then i'm going to duplicate this again and then i'm going to give a gradient fill here for that go to format shape fill select the gradient fill by default there are four stops i'm going to delete this two stops so one stop i'm going to select using the eyedropper this gold color you can see here the tan and then i'm going to make it somewhat lighter color here which is this one light yellow all right and how the direction you want you can just choose the direction okay and put it here and send this two back all right so you can see here something like this and then what happened what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this uh, at the bottom here for that right mouse click edit point and drag only this one down okay and again if you want you can make it somewhat up and give a curved figure like this just make sure that this is properly aligned so you can see here we end up getting a shape something like this and for this i'm going to give a gradient fill of these two colors select the gradient fill so one side i'm going to use this dark blue color and the other side i'm going to use the light blue color so you can see here and then you can change the direction something like this all right or maybe i can just choose maybe this also not a problem so whichever direction you want you can just choose the right direction for you again if you want more darker you can select more darker here by increasing the gradient stop here all right so let it be like this and then i'm going to add one more here by pressing this ctrl d you can see here and for this i'm going to use only one color i'm going to choose this dark blue color and increase the transparency level here all right bring it down and then i'm going to increase it till top you can see here till here 
all right and this one i'm going to drag this down okay how to do that one again right mouse click edit point and i'm going to drag some more down like this all right so you end up getting a shape something like this and then send this to back all right till here okay and again if you want more further uh, uh, just a kind of effect you want to give you can increase the transparency level so you can see here we end up getting a shape something like this and once this is done you can add some lines to it to add the lines let me just zoom out this one i'm going to delete this the color pattern which i don't need now go to insert shapes select this curve and draw the curve something like this depending on your requirement we can see here something like this double click this one shape outline you can make it white press ctrl d to duplicate and put it just below this one press ctrl d like this you can see here press ctrl d keep on till how many you need you can just press ctrl d like this all right so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all of this press ctrl g to group it and reduce the width you can see here something like this and this also got let me just i don't need this much i'm going to delete okay and then i'm going to select this one increase the transparency level you can see here i want to give a very light lines in the background for example if i do a slideshow it looks something like this you can see here all right so once this is done this also you can go to format and send this to back all right and then click on the slide size okay so you end up getting a design something something like this now you can add one batch here for that badge you can go to insert shapes i'm going to select maybe a 10 point star draw a 10 point star you can see here something like this all right shape outline no outline and you can use two different colors so i'm selecting the gradient fill one i'm going to use some dark color and another one sorry two fills uh, two gradient fills one with dark color and i'm sorry there's a mistake so let me just select this one i'm going to use this color sorry for that select the dark color here and select this one i'm going to choose a light color and select radial and direction from the center all right and then you can go to the effects go to the format top bevel select this one and increase the width it looks something like this you can see here all right and then i'm going to add one more oval shape select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key you can see here select exactly in the center shape outline no outline i'm going to select the gradient fill again and i'm going to give the uh, the shadow effect so select this one and i'm going to choose the inner center it looks something like this all right and once this is done i can add one star here so i'm going to select this five point star draw the five point star holding the shift key shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to give the gold color here and put it exactly in the center and to make sure that this is all aligned properly select both these three or you can hold the shift key one by one okay shift key hold the shift key and just click one by one and make sure align center align middle and press ctrl g to group it so you can see here this design is there and then go to insert shapes i'm going to select one rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size shape outline no outline shape will make it white and then go to insert shapes select the uh, triangle and draw the triangle like this you can see here and then select this one hold the shift key select the blue triangle merge shape subtract and send this to back so you can see here we end up getting shape something like this and if you want some shadow effect for this press ctrl d and give a black color and increase the transparency a little bit you can see here and then put it like this send this to back 
so we got the shadow effect also so once this is done we need to add the text so i'm just going to type here certificate and the color i'm going to choose is the same light golden color okay and choose any good font i'm going to choose open sans make it bold and maybe 40 and make sure that this is align center and then i'm going to insert one more of certificate of appreciation okay and this o i'm going to make it small one so once this is done i'm going to choose a font called vivaldi if you don't have you can download it or you can use some other font of your choice make it white font and increase the size and i'm going to put it here so certificate of appreciation and then go to insert text box i'm just say presented to all right i'm going to again make it the gold color here all right and then again open sans if you want you can make it very loose also this also certificate you can make it loose this like this okay and make sure that every time it is aligned center this also i have to make sure that it is aligned center and this also align center once this is done i'm going to add the name so for that i'm going to use this one press ctrl d to duplicate and go to the home make it bold increase the size to maybe 48 and type your name okay increase the size further and again make sure that it is aligned center and once this is done you can add some detailed text at the bottom equals lorem within brackets one and here i'm going to use maybe some white color but i'm going to make it somewhat transparent you can see here somewhat reduce the font size open sans and that's it so you can see here our certificate is almost ready and at the bottom you can add the uh, the signature and all those things and if you would like to add one border you can go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here again align center align middle shape outline i'm going to give yellow color shape fill no fill all right then go to insert the last part i'm going to add the date here okay again white font go to text options increase the transparency reduce the font size all right center align and here i'm going to add one line so that the date can be added here one line i'm going to add one line like this white line again increase the transparency for this also put it in the center select both of these hold the control shift key and add the signature here so you can see here the design of the certificate is ready so once this is done you can go to file you can click on the export and click on the create pdf file to convert this one to pdf and then you can print it uh, from your printer or you can give it to the professional printing services as well